So welcome back guys to another video and today I'm doing a review on the Friends of Ringo Ishikawa, a game available now on the Nintendo Switch and on Steam. I'll be talking about the Switch port and this will be spoiler free for more reasons than one. And this game really took me by surprise, was not what I was expecting. Is it a pass or is it a fail? Let's talk about it. The story follows Ringo Ishikawa in his last year of high school. Ringo is a delinquent, a young lost soul with no goals in life but to smoke cigarettes, skip school, and defend his turf with his gang of friends. But with this being the last year of his childhood, will Ringo turn the ways of a Yakuza or break the chains of a lazy child makes a lousy adult? The gameplay is very interesting. From first glance, this looks like a River City Ransom style beat em up but this title has many more layers than just brawling through life, just like Ringo himself. The game actually has a mixture of the Yakuza series with its mini games and almost a persona vibe with the relationships you form with the NPCs in the game. The real meat of this game comes from the interactions that Ringo can have with the people in his class. You'll go to school, study for exams, read books to learn new skills, get a part-time job to earn some money, and even go on a date if you're lucky enough. This is a more coming-of-age story as told through the means of video games than any specific genre of gaming. You'll go around battling random thugs or even get attacked by them at times. You can even visit shops to buy food, grab some movies, or get a bite to eat. Despite all these influences, Ringo Ishikawa feels like a wholly unique take on the sandbox game. Now let's talk about the things I like and don't like about the friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Uh, first off, I don't think the game's advertisement does it justice. Uh, when looking at screenshots or looking at videos, this looks like your typical mill, River City Ransom style delinquent beat em up when there's much more to it. And I feel like a lot of folks are going to be missing out because of that alone. And you know, I didn't want to spoil anything because even the developer really said he didn't want the, the story to be spoiled. I will say the story really carries something special in this game. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is all made by one person. And even down to the music as a certain atmosphere, I was feeling kind of nostalgic. It was making me go back to the days when I was in high school. I was just had this weird feeling of, and I got emotional thinking about my senior year. About It's a very, very weird moment knowing that your childhood is right behind you and you're becoming an adult and there's things that you enjoy in life that's going to be in the past in a matter of moments. And it's, it's all downhill from there. No, I'm just kidding. But it, it really hit the nail on the head with that narrative. I really did enjoy that. And I, I, I really enjoyed the, the time of day sequences, you know, deciding if I wanted to go to school, or if I wanted to skip school and smoke cigarettes with my friends, or if I wanted to beat the snot out of people, if I wanted to boost up my stats, rather it's with, you know, hand them fists, or if I wanted to go into a book and expand my knowledge that way. I thought that was really cool. Um, and the sprite work is really, really good. Now, going into the things that I don't like about the friends of Ringo Ishikawa, uh, the sense of direction. Uh, this game does not have a map or any sort of compass, so I felt like a freshman in high school running around in circles trying to find my direction. I actually had to go online and look up a map and kind of use that as my reference to get from point A to point B. I mean, after a while, you do get kind of used to the the town and and navigating where you need to go but it's very overwhelming because there's really no sense of direction of what to do uh it's mainly talking to npcs and triggering certain events and i i feel like that can be kind of overwhelming for some gamers i feel like this is a great game but it's not for everybody so given this game a score i will definitely give it an eight out of ten i feel like it's definitely 
catered to a certain demographic of gamers. I feel like, you know, if you enjoy games like Persona, if you enjoy games like the Yakuza series, if you enjoy River City Ransom, there's something there for you to enjoy with the friends of Ringo Ishikawa. But I feel like some folks are going to go into this game and be overwhelmed or not really know what to do and get really frustrated. Uh, and the fact that there's not a whole lot of guides online because they don't want to spoil the story can kind of hinder some folks' enjoyment, let's be honest here. But do I recommend it? Absolutely. I think it was uh, one of the biggest surprises I had of 2020 when it comes to gaming. It was, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, and I believe I got it on the Nintendo Switch for just 10 bucks. 10 bucks, I can definitely justify it. But what do you guys think? What do you think about... The Friends of Ringo Ishikawa. Is this a game you want to check out? Have you played it? Do you have any opinions on it? Leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, but also hit the bell so you're notified on all future videos coming out on this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming.